Cool, so seatbelts fastened, fuel shut off, now needs. I don't want that to blow off. That's alright. Is it on? Or, yeah, it yeah off. fuel shut off is on. on. Um, cyclic, I guess we won't get far, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, actually, cyclic can. They've just cut first. a lot of grass, so let's not hover too much over that first bit of grass. Cool. Because uh, it'll get adjusted. Feels good. Off here. I'm gonna say that one feels heavier than I'm used to. <laughs> All right, and throttle works. Boom, boom. There we go. Pedals feel good. Okay. Pedals feel good. Friction, 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 friction. All right. Uh, pedals neutral. Rotor brake is disengaged. Uh, circuit breakers are uh, in. Uh, carb heat is off, uh, mixture is full rich, uh, mixture guard is installed, no primer, landing lights are off. Making sure that doesn't foul you up. Yeah, keep an eye on it. Uh, Alright, so uh, landing lights are off, avionics are all off, uh, altimeter will set in a second, uh, governor is on. All right, so maybe three twists. The hydraulics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's uh, let's twist the bugger. One a little prime. Two and three. And a three makes three. And then the master strawberry. Whoa! Clear. All right. So let's close the door. All right. So then we'll do master strobe. Yep. Gonna have the juice for the starter. And then we're gonna do start, uh, starter light out, uh, oil pressure, clutch alternator, and then timer. All right. Testing, testing. One, two. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Zero, one, zero, four. Zulu. Wind, two, seven, zero. At zero, eight. All right. Visibility, two, seven, one, zero. zero. Sky condition, overcast, one thousand five hundred. Okay. Temperature, one, seven, Celsius. Dew point, one, two, Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, two. Remarks. All right. Density, altitude, four hundred. Alright, so we had one seven. Airport, Watsonville, California. Automated weather observation. Alright, I'm used to frequency change. <laughs> Over. Yeah, All right. so look at one seven and see what the heck we could do. And wind is two seven zero, so we got wind yeah. Yeah, two seven for a change. So we have two two five for max continuous and two three four for five minutes. Cool, so we're warming up at 75. Once the clutch light goes out, we'll, we're in the green here, and we'll do our mag okay. check. We're looking right, for... Let's wake this up now. It looks like you hit that light, says message. It's going to say ready for nav, so hit the nav button. And then now where you want to go, we're still nearest. So hit nearest, and nearest would be the nearest airport would be Watsonville. Airport Watsonville. That's what you'd like. You go direct to it. All right. 
Directive. Boom, it says, is that what you want with an OK, and you hit enter, and then you got a big knob to you, and there's your map. Distance, ground speed, yada yada, size of your map, if you can read it. Yeah. There it is. All right. And then check the volume on Watson, we'll pull that guy out. We may have people using runway two coming in out of the clouds, uh, the instrument approach. So yeah. we got to listen. We're heavy. Yeah, so I'll just follow your old checklist and uh, bada boom. Cool. All right, so clutch light is out. We're at the green. You call that green? Yeah, yeah you're flying. You do what you feel uh, comfy doing. Yeah, give it a second more. It's getting there. Carb heat worked when you pulled it all the way up. So yeah, that's, good. that's all the way up. Cool, so we'll check uh goes yeah, sure that we more boom, than a seven percent drop boom, in boom. second. We'll split the kills, make sure we split, uh take friction off and set their horn. Alright. That looks green there, so So here's your about four minutes it took to warm it up from a cold engine. So we can kinda of remember that. Okay. All right, so left torpedo, one, one. Huh, that's not dropping at all, but wonder, we're getting close to the, bring it to seven spot, try to see. Got to have some kind of drop. Oh, so right. yeah, to jiggle the ignition switch a little. So let's try it again, here at seven, five. There you go. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, good. All right, we'll check the right. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, good. Bring it back to five, put the needle. Go. Yep. All right. Cool. So, doors are closed and latched. We checked our manifold pressure chart. We'll take frictions off, roll it up, and the horn. All right. Comfortable. So, friction, friction. Yeah, the wind, uh, it's 270. Let's put it seven. It did say 230 at seven, then it said 270, so it's moving around. Yeah. All right. We'll be all right. Comfortable, good. So, roll it up and take your point. All right. Wait for the clutch, over. right? One, two. Great. All right, so I'll pick up and roll down. There it is, our life safe. All right, don't do anything until you're all happy with everybody. Maybe turn on your landing light. So are, are you looking good? Kind of memorize what you're looking at. Yep. All now, right. now, if you're going to go to your first checkpoint, um, you may forget about this. But you hit it when you warm up, and now it's got six minutes. And you're going to hit your first checkpoint at seven minutes or however long. Yeah. You might just reset it or just remember, and you're going to, you're going to be very busy in the cockpit trying to remember when it was. So maybe you just hit it anew. Yeah. So you hit your checkpoint when you when you said you were. Yeah. If you can remember that, you might have to put a little red dot to say timer to remember <laughs> to remind yourself. Okay, it's your aircraft. Pick me up. All right. Cool, so go to 17 and come outside. And once we go outside, time, once we go outside we're going to find light and correct all movement. And remember this pad is funky. Gonna this is the old weed patch. Oh, good. All right. So anticipate as you lift left. Little dance right there. All right, correct that. All right, we're heavy, as you can see. We're pulling a lot of there power here. All right. Oh, so how do you look? Yeah, lights are out, is green. Heartbeat's at 10, so we'll keep an eye on that. All right. Uh, so that's not really good. Go out here, there left. How's your tail? That looks good on that end. Why don't you say asphalt, since it's so grassy, just kind of walk me back to okay. the taxiway. Do that Remember where the wind here. is. Sure. That's crazy going to have. And open Hopefully.
No way you get good ground effect over the asphalt. Alright. I haven't seen the new pavement down here yet. Yeah, you can't run on on this thing. You'll put a groove in it. It's so soft. It's amazingly soft. Wow. So if we do run-ons or we do anything, we do it on the old runway. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty bad, actually. If you were to land here, you'd pick up and see your divots. Wow. <laughs> we got little scars right there. You, anybody around? Uh, clear on Alpha to the right and Alpha to the left. Uh, nobody on right. final. No one well, on the there's radio. your wind sock. It's a little crosswind, so what? Why don't you do a, a quick stop down the taxiway here? All right. So air taxi or just quick stop? Let's just do a air taxi to a quick stop. So you got to get your numbers first. Yeah. Yeah. So a little low on your hover. Yeah. Bring all right. A little. So get your configuration, then hop and float, and then it's all you just showing me an air taxi to, to a quick stop. Do right. maneuvers. Air taxi to a quick stop. So just as a reminder, we'll have our takeoff profile. We'll get to. Uh, 4550 pop up to 50 feet down collective and then uh, down right aft. And 50 knots, 50 50, yeah. thereabouts. All right, so here we go on the go. So you know there's a little crosswind, so you might want to crab a wee bit. Yeah, right there right it there. is. That'll help your pitot tube get a good airspeed indicator. Right about there. Pop up, lower the flex right about there. Then in three, two, one. Good, good, good. All right. Now here's the danger. You want to crawl down a bit to five feet. Just exactly like this. Watch up for the traffic. Can you check, please? No, All right, keep still forward loud, momentum. Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank you. And then there's your crosswind. See that strip string? So it's a little yeah. odd right in here. Bring your red. That was excellent, okay? Hey, not that's, bad for the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> Ended let's, on some crappy ones yesterday, or whatever day. So that'll work every time. Let's walk over here to this little slope area that hopefully we could blow some of this stuff around. Remember doing some slopes with me over here or not? Uh, we haven't done slopes together. Okay, well, see these little edge marks from hover autos? <laughs> <laughs> right here. Wow, yeah, see you that? guys beat it up. <laughs> so you need to put your initials in it. Somebody's somewhere, I don't know where he is. Maybe he's 2-7. Uh, anyway, we like to do this little slope area. Sometimes the examiner likes to use the runway and the, and the gravel, which I don't like as much. Yeah. You could kind of dictate, if you'd like, uh, to use the slope area over here. Okay. So, um, l let me go over the version uh, first that that I'd like to see and he'd like to see, I think, and then you can do one, right? Okay. So you and I are on together? All right, we're on together. Okay, the main thing is I want you to be like a verbalize um, what you're doing. So we're never gonna overfly any taxiway lights or anything on the ground. So kind of tell them that right off the bat. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split these two taxiway lights right here. So kind of remember this area, all right? All right. So, don't overfly it. So now we're going to get on the downhill side. Don't put your uh, tail in the tree. So you're on a little mini 45 now. And yep. you're going to select a nice area that you're going to do your slope. This is so unfortunate we have all this grass. Yeah. So, this little area looks pretty good. So you're on a little mini 45. When you select your spot, like this one, then you go parallel to the slope. Right. And then, even though there's a crosswind, I think we can manage. Then you get this little mini trend. I'm outside looking. A little mini trend to get that downhill, uh, the downhill vibe. Yeah. And then once you touch, you want to lower and in, lower the collective and into the slope, and then lower it on your terms. That one's. This is not very good, is it? What's the matter with this slope? It's a little rocky. So you're feeling it out right here. So like you don't feet, trust right? the slope. So you go down about like I was, like you were saying, 17 inches because you don't trust it, and you test the waters. If you're happy, then you go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Then you center the cycler. Yeah. Now you tell the examiner in an emergency only passengers downhill and in front. Right. Uh, never let your passengers out with the blade spinning. 
So yeah. that's what you tell them, right? At this point. Never at the blade any downhill. But in an emergency, front. you know, boom, boom. Now the no, most important thing is clearing your skid. Yeah. And you tell them what you're looking for. You're looking for no nothing blocking the skid because he's your passenger now. He's not a pilot. He's your yeah. passenger. So. Once the skid is cleared, then you go back into the slope. So for the opposite skid, right? So like if, if I was the only pilot and I don't have clear visual on you the left skid. You roll it down, friction it, take a look. Okay. You you don't want to, you want to be doubly sure. This, yeah. Your whole career, you want to make sure they're clear. All right? Okay. There you go. Now, back into the slope. And we, eyes are outside. We slowly raise the collective. Um, our pillars are right where they left off, our feet. So leave them there. We want to level the, uh, the disc, right? Oh, uh, you're back into the slope. Yeah. And we want to find where light is. So there is aft, there's four and aft. See that? Yeah. I don't want either one. I want right about here. Once you're light, you can kind of nudge it up. Up comes the skid. And then you center it and come up and away, never turning the tail into the slope. Yeah. That's what I'd like you to try. All okay. right. So now let's go back to the taxiway and you do it. Yeah, take the controls for a second. I have the controls. Yep, controls. Try to get my knee pad out of the way. The way. Uh, You're going right. to have to lift it up a little bit above your knee or your leg because that's going to bother you. So now yeah. you have the controls? I have the controls. All right, you have the controls. And there is a funky crosswind, so you yeah. just have to deal with it. All right. All right, car beats good. All right, so we'll do uh, right skid. Let's do the same direction, you know, because okay. that's the wind is right in here. Great, okay. So careful not to overfly any lighting here. So these old lights will fly up and bing, bang, boom, <laughs> and then you're done. Not ideal. All right, so go over here. And we'll come over a little bit so we can enter at a 4.5. Okay, you got the 45. little stake there. So you mentioned yeah. the danger areas. You get your tail downhill and you find a nice little area. I kind of blew this area a little bit. All right, yeah. So hey, walk look, up there's here. a clear spot right there. This is too steep <laughs> and, and this is too flat. So make it nice and fun and easy. Yeah, okay. So we're entering here looking for our spot, and that looks like a good spot right there. Look, the helicopters landed on there before, so good sign. All right, so now that we're over our spot, we'll line it up here, and we'll go down till we touch our right skid. Nice and once we touch our right skid, then we'll go into the slope while down collected simultaneously right there. Oh. I think you're on a little <laughs> gopher mount. Okay. See that little mound? I think that's what's causing this rocking chair vibe. Yeah. So, actually, it's not the greatest spot, but let's treat it as a good spot. Be okay. real gentle, because you don't want to re uh, reassess or re- uh, Yeah. Yeah. So now that we're here... Uh, we'll test the waters rock. a little bit. If you're happy, then all the way down. Cool. So then but anticipate go. some movement or, you know, it's uh, snow or mud or whatever you're going to slide. Yeah. This isn't the greatest. I think there's a little hump right there. Okay, so now that we're down, now we level, yep. and then now we look, so clear, skid right. Mine is clear, I don't see anything obstructing, so now it's up to you to Great. pick me back up. And if we're getting out, then uh, wait, the, really, the blades are off and run downhill. All right, cool, so let's get comfortable again. So now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to level the disc relative to the horizon and uh, come up. So we get light, and once we get light, we'll do our pickup and go away from the loop. So, level this to be right about there. Lights are out green, carpet's good. Yep. Uh, so, maybe it a little bit, because this is the greatest little spot. I think yeah. it's a gopher hump mound right here. It'll be real gentle in here. Got to be careful for dynamic rollover. Uh huh. It's always a concern, particularly loop operation. Nice and gentle, there's no rush. All right, there's light. All right, now I'll just take it up. Uh, getting lighter. Little left pedal there. All right, so, so there we go. Up and away from the slope. Really nice. I think that little funky mound is... That's going to that's gonna work every time. And then you come up a little bit higher because I don't want to dig in. And let's go back to the taxiway, all right? All right. I'm not used to the two Sierra Alpha just struggles to get power. So no, <laughs> this, this is good. A little bit this, low. this is going to be what you're going to fly in for your check ride. All right. All right. Uh, 
We're going to do a left traffic pattern and you're going to line up for a slightly steeper than normal uh, approach to one of the letters on 2-7. That spells out Watsonville. Uh -huh. I think we've done that, haven't we? Uh, have we done a... Right to 2-7? Yeah, we're going to use the windsock as our runway. And we're going to go to a letter. Watsonville spelled out on 2-7. Oh, right, yeah. But you're going to go into the wind. So you make a left traffic pattern, you know, base to final, just like a normal pattern out here. And then on base to final, you'll find your angle to a letter of your choice and we'll anticipate a little steeper than normal, like put the tree in front of it or something like that. Yeah. All right? Okay. So uh, do you want to take off 2-0 or use 2-7? I think we'll use 2-0. We'll just, you know, come around a bend. And, and then on final, you'll be into the windsock. So it'll be uh, not really... You could say 2-0, 2-7, doesn't matter. All right. All right. Gauge out, get your green, car beats good, we got fuel. All right, things look good. So this take off and then crab because right. of the wind. Watsonville traffic helicopter, 290 Sierra Hotel on the go, taxiway Alpha, parallel 2-0, for left traffic, Watsonville. Good. Now check your trim out and grab a wee bit. Here comes your airspeed. Ba-bam. So look All for right. your normal numbers and normal normal everything until base to final intercept your steeper than normal angle. I don't make my radio calls here if I'm changing runways. Just oh, you just say landing <laughs> west of or landing east of two zero landing whatever. No, right. you can say whatever you want because there's <laughs> no control tower here. We're not going to Marina right now. Watsonville traffic helicopter two nine zero zero hotel left crosswind two zero Watsonville. So you could just say base to final landing uh, taxiway alpha parallel to zero. All right. Because that's where we're going to be uh, landing a little bit into the wind. So are we going down uh, zero final or turning in seven? We'll go, we're going to go like we're normally landing on alpha parallel to zero into the wind. Okay. But you're going to find a letter. Uh, I see. You're going to okay. find a letter of your choice on the downwind. All right. So for about see, how, see it's spelled on. Watsonville right there on two seven. Yeah. So out here over the trees and the apple orchard is your angle into the wind. So it's going to come in like this, kind of. Yeah. I do a steeper than normal approach to a letter. Okay. And it's not a vertical because there's, there's no angle like that. It's just a 15 degree angle. Yeah. So, I'm climbing so don't make it too difficult. Make it uh, easy, like normal, but just a little higher than normal. Okay. So we'll go base to final for two zero, and but pick the Watsonville. Yeah, base to final landing alpha, and we'll stay east of two zero. There's nobody around, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. But the wind sock is your guy. So as you're coming base to final, you look at the sock, and maybe that's your runway. All right. All right. Watsonville traffic helicopter two nine zero zero hotel turning uh, left base to final for two zero, but landing uh, taxiway alpha. Watsonville. All right. Take a look at your angle from way out here and fix, fix, fix. All right. Remember, uh, 15 degree is just 5 degrees higher than 10 degree, which yeah. is normal. All right. So we want to start our descent on our yeah, base. Yeah, check the sock out. Okay, wow, that's coming right down. I know. So figure it out as you're coming in. Pick yeah. your letter. This is a helicopter style. Yeah. Our speed up here. But walk up there. Remember, it's a steep approach. you got to come in a little steeper than normal. So stick your nose up and walk down there. There you go. This is a steep approach angle right now. Keep it that way. All the way all right. to your, your letter. Because you're smart, you're looking at two seven and nine or no one's yeah. taking off, right? Yep. Don't fall into a normal approach. Keep it up to a little, because there's a tree you're gonna come over. Yeah. So okay. it's a little too fast. A little slow crawl, walk. There all you right. go. Your power, you're starting to sink. We gotta watch that. We go below ETL, we're not. Yeah, yeah, so you know, I bring this in a little to slow you down. Still want to maintain a crawl at all times. Yeah, yeah, there's your wind. So bringing up the power a little bit. There you go, now you look good. RPM good? RPM good, yep. Things look good. Any particular letter? Sure, flying. I'm just sitting here <laughs> talking. Don't all go right. up short. Yeah, let's go right for the V there. There you go. 
Now see how stable you are into the wind, you're perfect. Just keep it going all the way to the ground, all right? All the way to the ground. Yeah, right. we're going all the way down. But you're already stable, so you don't have to hover much. Yep. Just allow it to happen with just a slight mini forward thought to make it perfect. Just like that, dude. That's excellent, all right? All right. Don't, don't go from your steep and drop down to a normal, because she's looking for a steeper than normal approach. So you got to come up here and crawl down like that, which you did. All right. Okay, we're going to do a max performance. The other day we couldn't. Yeah. We have wind. We can help us. All right. And then what we're going to do is uh, take off to, we're take off 27, because then we'll make a right downward departure to the east on 27, all right? All right. So, but we're going to do a max performance. So let's check the, we don't need that much car beat, so check it down a little bit. And then you said 23-something? Yeah, so we're uh, 17, says down there, so 25, 23, 4. Okay, 23, 4. Right, so it's going to be... Right. You're going to pull, and the tree's in front of us, so we're going to go vertical. You might use yeah. the, the trim to get perfect. We want to minimize the pedal usage, right? To yeah, that'll that'll waste your, uh, your lift, so right. it'll be gentle in here. All right, lights are out, are they? Green, green, yeah, green, here we go. We're gonna go green. vertical and then boom for a right downward departure, 2-7. All right, so uh, do a two-stage pickup, yep. first and foremost. So find 17, there it is, come outside, and we'll find light. Correction. Once you find correction, come off the ground. Then. We're trying to go vertical here, so. Yeah. So we're light right there. There's okay. 21. There you go. All right. So, 22. Where's 23? Keep this rate. Look at your trim strings. No, you're out of trim. You gotta get your right pedal in there. 22. I could use 23 something. Come there on, you baby. go. There you go. Come on, baby. They're still going. <laughs> That's 23. It's showing 23 four. There it is. Trim, trim. Little right pedal. There it is. All right. So that you go 23-3. Go ahead. All right. Check your runways, both directions, and we're on to go. 2-7. All right. Right traffic? Yep. And we're right, right down with departure to the east. Watsonville traffic helicopter, 290 hotel, on the go, 2-7 for right traffic, uh, right down with departure. Watsonville. Now come inside, check your, your car because we did amend it, yeah. so now you want to check it. Bring it up. We're in pretty prime car beat condition. Did you see how we kind of didn't, and then we did. We kind of, you know, a little right pedal is more, less energy than left pedal. Yeah. And you kind of didn't get it, and then all of a sudden we did. It's just breathing our way up. Yeah. And we cleared our obstacle, we're on our way. All right. Now let's go out to the east, and we'll fiddle around a little more. Right, birds down below. Got birds. How clear it is going that direction, yeah. in that direction. Birds there. All right. So we're going to go to the east and maybe go through the gap there to get some uh, altitude. I don't All know. Right. We'll see. For the bird. This looks like it's 1300 now. It's starting to come down a little bit. All right. I felt good to get that one under the belt. Yeah, well, you saw how delicate it is. So with Mike, he's even heavier. Yeah. And you're going to have a lot of fuel. You're going to have to adjust it so you get the most maximum <laughs> benefit with a little right pedal and use the wind or the trim. Yeah. And you might not do it. If you stop, don't keep pulling. But you went to 23, you could add a little pedal and a little 23-4, you know? Yeah. All right. All right, so. car beats good. All right, you just lost car your governor, all right? You got a light on, right? So, so I'm, so I'm going to go full car beat just because. So you monitor this by hand to make yep. sure stays in the green. So if it goes low, I'll bring it up a little. If it goes high, I'll bring so it So the recovery, the nice recovery to tell them is down and on gentle aft. For, uh, for RPM recovery. Right. So he may roll the throttle down to get the horn, and you just say and do down and on gentle aft. Down on gentle aft. So I got full carbs, so we're not going to be dumb. So here we go. When you hear the horn, uh, fix it. Okay. Down and on gentle aft. Real gentle. Wait for so the it's horn. not like a full, we're not going down. No, it's not an engine failure. It's a low RPM. There's your horn. So down and on, not too much. Gentle aft. Nope. 
That's too much. Now you right, gotta get back, back to flying. There you gotta go. get you gotta get your fly profile, look yeah. for traffic. As we pull collective, we there gotta be careful that yeah. uh, RPM doesn't. Now the correlator, if it stays at 20, is gonna keep it right there. Uh -huh. So you, you have help from the electronic little device. Yeah. All right, so cover there. So Sometimes if you're fast enough, uh, the gentle aft will balloon it back up. So you're gonna go in a little speedier with a little more attitude forward. Okay. But the clouds are getting a little close. So let me demonstrate a little bit with you, all right? Okay. So we're cruising along, and uh, here comes the low RPM. Sometimes we could just go out. Yeah, get it. And that fixes it. So we got to roll it up. Now I'm fixed. Now I'm outside. Yeah. But down, if you, if you say aft. the words down and on gentle aft, um, you'll like that. Okay. On not gentle only, aft. Not only you fix it, but you mentally know it. Cool. So it looks, it's going to sound like this. We're flying along. He's going to roll it down. And you're going to go down and on, gentle aft, fixed, fly. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay. Boom. One more time. You have the controls, I all right? Controls. Now, when you hear the horn, you fix it. Okay? All right. Um, listen to the engine right now. I'm going to get it below the green. Okay. And you can hear. There's no horn, but it sounds kind of weird. Yeah. So your eyes should go on your life there when uh -huh. it happens. So here comes a horn. Gentle, down and on, gentle aft. Now it's fixed, now you gotta fly. All right. Power back up. And if I were you and you're with passengers, I would say, uh, I'm going back to Watsonville. I don't fly without a governor. Yep. So you don't continue your flight, all right? Isn't that what the uh, operating handbook says, though? Continue your flight with uh, manual throttle? It says you must be operative for flight. Yeah, okay, so, so you just go back. You go back. You don't fly without one, because they want you to have one. Yeah. All right, Governor, back on. Lights are out, good as a green. Let's All shoot right. through the gap here, and we'll go uh, do some... It's windier over on this side. Yeah. But we've got to do some pinnacle confined area practice. One thing I learned flying with Brian, he says, put it on 22 and go fast. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't want to, you know... But if we want 22, then put it on 22. Don't be yeah. 22 uh, 5, because that will make it a little hot. Yeah. yeah. His words are, if somebody's paying you to fly, then they don't want to pay that much. Well, don't fixate on the gauge. You know, you're outside too, birds yeah. and traffic. So, uh, when he's doing the low RPM, uh... He'll ask you in the classroom, how do you recover from the low RPM? You say down and on gentle half. Okay. And then in the air, he may click the governor off. Okay, so and he roll it down, and he's going to want you to fix it. So he may do that uh, with the governor off. Yeah, John Pyle used to do it with governor on because uh, even with governor on, you can get the low RPM, and then that's just down and a little aft, and then let the governor fix it. Yeah, but you could be high altitude where the governor's not working that well, and you'll have to manually help the governor out. All right, because the governor doesn't work at altitude very well. Flying directly over the tower here to make sure we're clear of the wires. Some guy just said he's taking off 27, so I'll have to see if he's coming this way or not. All right. A little bit more altitude here over the hill. A little bit more power. Go ahead, get green. He's the car beat up just a little bit. The, the wind is now going to be funneling in this, so you're going to have some turbulence. All right. Bring it up a little bit more. Say we don't have a wind indicator with any uh, flags or, or smoke, how else can you tell uh, your, if there's any wind without like anything outside? Uh, uh, the uh, indicated airspeed and the GPS speed. Okay, so that means we're going what? 85. We're 92 knots, and we're indicating what? So that's our ground speed, and we're indicating 75, so... So there's your tailwind, all right? All right. So we know where the wind's, what the wind's doing. Yep. I like track. Good. Let's pick a pinnacle out here uh, that we could do a high recon without getting too close to these guys. So maybe okay. out in the sun somewhere. Your choice of a pinnacle, because this is going to be you on your check ride going this direction to your first checkpoint, which is uh, South County, what's actually over here. Right? Yeah. So you're not going to come over here, you're going to divert over here. But then he's going to want to do a pinnacle, and you're going to go, well, I know where some great ones are, sir, and you're going to take him to one of them. All right. 
So I'll go find one that you like that's easy and yeah. do a high recon. All right, so I'm going to first kind of get on the other side of these little clouds here. Yeah, yeah. There's great ones over there, over here, yeah. or wherever. Okay, so let's look for traffic over the hills. Uh, we're not picking porcelain spot. I'm going to listen to the Hollister for one second, so we can hear him. All right. A little bit of turbulence there. Bring it up a little bit. I can't hear him. So we'll have to just monitor. All right, so I don't like deep just because there's clouds hanging pretty low. Uh, so maybe we'll go over there to the left. Once past the you, do, region. you don't want to bother any uh, cattle or farmers or whatever, so. Yeah. Now with this much wind, your bank, your recon is going to have to be altered because you don't want to get blown away or blown on top of. So yeah. you have to figure out your high recon so you can actually recon it, not get blown away from it. Okay. So All find right. a spot, you can circle on your side so you can see it out your window. Yeah. So, how about that spot right over there? You Reach go, at the uh, 11 o'clock, there's right, a little you, hump. You go grab one, make sure there's nobody around. All right, so look clear. So we're looking for your acronym, plot to feel. Okay, well, don't so, do it here, do it there, you know, because yeah. you want to recon it. Yep. All right, so we're checking our power to make sure we have enough uh, power for uh, getting out, get getting, in. In, uh, getting yep. in and out. So I think one way to do that is try to do a uh, hover at 500 feet above. Sure that we can do that, and if we can, then uh, ground effect uh, level two. All right, why don't you why don't you do that? All right. So do it into the wind to make it real simple and quick. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually loop around here. All right. Little circle. A little bit of grass on the top there. So I'm gonna come around long here. Alright. Nice on this side. Yeah, wow. Alright. Might be a little bright with the sun. Yeah. Now make an engine failure spot at the ready also, because if you're just going to see if you can hover out of ground effect, yeah, you don't so, want to settle with power, and you want to have an engine out spot also, so be ready for something. Yeah, maybe like that the, road there or yeah, the ridge or whatever. All right. Uh, All right what about carb heat? I think we'll adjust yeah, it. Bring it up. We're below eight. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's hover right here. And now don't, don't settle with power, so be real gentle, because you're going to be heavy. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need more power here. How's that? 20 right out here, 21. All right, so we got power here at 500. About 21, yeah, 22. This is, so you convince yourself. So now you just, you're done with the maneuver. Now yep. move on, because uh, tick, tick, you know. Let's yeah. do the recon now. Cool, so let's yeah, you, speed. You prove that you can uh, hover out of ground effect. So that's going to help you uh, in your five-minute rating and all that. Yep. All right, so the wind is coming from... That direction. Right. So we're looking to make our approach from. Well, we got to get our wires figured out. Any wires down there? That's the number one cause of fatality. So let's yeah. give it a recon. All right. Wind and wires. Wind and wires. So we know the wind. So let's look for wires. Yeah. Make sure that we're a little bit higher here, so we don't. Knock it into could be wires. fence posts or whatever. So we're looking around. So we see no, no wires. Yeah, so what's next? There. Uh, obstacles, yeah. trees. A few uh, low trees, no obstacle. Yeah, no factor. Yep. Uh, What's T? T is what? Turbulence, okay. so we're looking for turbulence coming over the hills here. Up and drafts, down drafts, yeah, yachty drafts. Um, you can see the wind blowing your grass there. Yeah, oh, yeah right down. Okay. Fence post. Looks, looks like, like a like fence line, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. here's your softer bank because you want to still, that's your spot. You want to keep it in view, right? Yep. And so entry exit is going to be uh, from into the wind Maybe here. Maybe along the ridge line for safety. Yeah, then you we, did, can... we didn't talk about, well, we did talk about engine out there, engine out there. Yeah, keep bridge them in, here. Keep them in your bank account. Not great, but it's something. The entry exit's going to be into the wind there, yeah. and then we can go right over the this little tree All area right. down there. Okay, lights are out, gauge is green, here's your downwind, right, so let's so do it. We'll let's carbon. do it. All if right. you're happy with your strategy. Yep.
So I'll go and extend it downwind here just to make sure I line it up. You know in. there's downdrafts on this backside, so don't yeah. come in shallow and have to climb up. It'll yep. never happen, so. All right, so let's go a little bit wide here. Maybe we're just over the freeway and then we'll turn around base to final. All right. The, the earlier you find your angle, the easier it is for you. So get it figured out right now as, you, as it comes into view. Bar the, altitude up. There you go, and you'll walk up to it from right here. Bam. All right. Really and nice. If I don't like it, then I say it's then a row. That's low a low recon. recon, yeah. All right. But here's 70. You should be really banking it off, slowing it down, anticipating this. RPM is good, little usual stuff. And then trim strings. You're looking great right now. Walk, slow, slower, slowest. Yeah, Look at it. the fog. So now you're bringing a little power to slow the descent rate and walk up there. See the trend? Perfect. Let it settle. It's looking good. You're working hard, making it happen. All right. You're targeting the furthest third right, of the just pinnacle. Don't brush the maneuver. So, got to come down a little you bit You can more. see the wind kind of topping this. So the low recon says this grass is too high, right? Yep. So I can come off to the right a little bit. But, uh, come down to a nice high yeah. hover. It's a little squirrely. Let's do, uh, let's do a low recon. Or this is our low recon, so go around here. Good, good, good. So the go around. Bam. So pull power. Yeah, that grass was maybe a little higher than I'd hoped. So. Yeah, you'd start a fire. There's your fence line. Good to see that. Anyway, that was really good, by the way. All right. All right. So you... in a situation like that where the grass is higher than I anticipated and I'm coming in a little steep, uh, the go around is the answer, but do I pick a new spot or? No, you just say, uh, that was my pinnacle. Uh, do you want me to do another one, sir? You know, and he might say, that's perfect. Let's do something else, you know? Yeah. So, no, I think that's fine. All right. So let's go find the confined area and do the same thing. Okay. Um, make it a little, a little so, different. Around here, never actually done a confined. So. All right, well, we'll find something to kind of combine. Don't yeah. pull too much. Just channel on your power setting. Here, let's go over here yonder, and I'll pick something uh, over here somewhere. All right. So fly. See the little the pond right there? Yeah. Let's go ahead of the pond. In the sun is a couple, a little quadrant of trees. Let's look what that looks like. Okay. Cool. So same thing. They might same recon, same everything, uh, only it's a little more of a confined area. So let's analyze the spot. See the little pond, and ahead is the little big tree on the left, and an opening little cattle trail. Let's go eyeball that. That'll be your confined area. Okay. Great. So uh, let's watch the slope know, on the, the right. The wind could become roaring down here, it could be uh, shooting through the canyon, so we'll see. All right. So. Uh, we already know about the hover, so that's out of the way. Yeah. We already know the wind, pretty much. Yep. So any wires? No wires. Well, we got to go look. Now, see the cattle trail uh, right between the little trees, uh, the shadow across, right in the front of it. Okay. There's a little opening. Yeah. So that's where your confined area is going to be. Okay, so right there at like 1 o'clock. Yeah, right, right where the cattle trail is. So let's recon it. All right, so I got a little turbulence right here. Yeah, so let's there you that. do. All right, so. So we're looking for wires. So wind wires, so. Maybe there, I'm guessing there must be a fence up there, but I don't see one. Yeah. At a high recon, we can't see it. Maybe on the low, we can. Yeah, so definitely wind. So what about turbulence. obstructions? Well, we've got trees. That's about yeah, it. We got the hill, the edge, hill. Turbulence, a little bit. All right. So force landing zone, I guess this whole strip right here is looking good. Yeah, looking really good. All Let's right. make a complete 360. See how the wind's blowing you on top? Because that's your spot. Yeah. Now you're going to lose sight of it. So you got to coordinate your turn so you don't lose sight of it. Okay. There's a little round thing down there, and now you can't see it at all. So the examiner doesn't want to see that. He wants to see a circle so you can look down and see it. Yeah, okay. So cheat a little bit. They go, there's a green thing there. There's a little uh, bush there. So fly to, <laughs> fly to your, your little recon cheat areas. Yeah. The wind a, is definitely blowing us this Yeah, way. it is. <laughs> so you fly around that thing, you fly around that thing, you fly around the knob there, maybe the little boom, boom. So yeah. you make a nice circle and give it a good recon. All right. 
I'll come a little bit wider. It never hurts to come just a little bit more wide. So there's no obstruction, so you don't need a steep approach. Okay. You're entering an exit, probably down the ravine and out the ravine. Yeah. All right. Make it so real safe. It looks like there'll be a little bit of a crosswind, though. A little bit. Who yeah. knows? But you don't want to be uh, climbing up this downdraft. You could be in trouble down here. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's a better turn because you cheated a little bit. You found now you can see it. Yep. So it may be a right traffic pattern, base to final, and come right down the, the, the right. deal here. Full car beat. And then on your uh, low approach, it's a low recon. All right. Since we don't have obstructions, yeah, then we I'm don't need go a, a little bit. We may make a shallow, for yeah. that matter. No need to. But you know it's going to be hot. turbulent. We felt it up here, so you know it's going to be more so down there. All right. As Let's soon as you turn base, look at your spot and make it happen. Right out, right. way out here. The sooner the better. All right. We're just a little bit. That's good. All right. We're set up very nice here, so watch out for that. I'll cheat a little bit to the left here since we have that crosswind to the right. Happen. I think you're going to have to do a low recon go around because this is way too high. No, right. no obstacle at this high, <laughs> and you're now you're on top. It's almost right. a vertical. Let's go around. <laughs> well, they'll call it a low recon. You're going to yeah. So this is my low recon. I don't see any wires down here. It uh, looks pretty good. It's that tree. We got this. I got a tire there. So now we're right cross with the downwind. Boom! Lay it over because of the wind. There's no need for that steep of an approach because it would have been too difficult. Yeah, I think in practice I'd line it up with the longer. So to make it longer uh, downwind. downwind yeah. And they'll go way out. they just come walking in here. Yeah, there's nothing here that would scare me kind of coming in, so besides maybe the crosswind. Yeah, you just want to uh, make it as easy as you can. Don't make a difficult, steep approach when you don't have to. All right. <laughs> See, so you're ready for that. Now yeah. that we've figured it out, more so down low. All right. All right. Wrap it around, find your angle, and go get it. There we go. Now we're looking great. Now you fly your trim strings. And watch out your power's too much. Just relax your power. You're going to climb if you don't. Ooh. All right, so that's turbulence here. That's all right. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit to the right of that tree there. Come in nice. Really got to be all over your trim strings, otherwise you're going to be a. It's going to be a mess. Yeah. Battle with this wind. Yeah, it's a real, real uh, workout. All right. Wind's gonna be howling down here, so make an eyeball on your RPM. Anything you don't like, you just go around. If it's out of control, you go around. Maybe yeah. this is not doable for you. For you. Yeah. All right. Right here. Yeah, here's your low recon. This low looks good now. So yeah. we probably could land here, but we're not because of the dry grass. Yeah. So look at your at your go around uh, lane. Wake up your pedals and your power, and we're out of here. Probably enough right there, a little yeah. bit of right pedal, boom. So know All that right. know that your uh, low recon is your uh, ace in the hole in case you came in too hot, too, uh, oh. <laughs> you know, too hot, too high, whatever. Yeah. Just go around. On your so team. if it's something uh, really windy like that, it's making me feel uncomfortable. Uh, well, you just say, uh, it's out of my comfort zone, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> you tell yeah. them no, it's a no-go. It's a low recon decision of, uh, I'm not going in there. Yeah, a little too turbulent. Yeah, uh, he'll be very happy with your decision making, because that's all you're, you're proving to him that you're safe, you know? Yeah. So you just tell him that, and we'll do that. Let's take a left turn and go over to Fraser. I'm going to listen to Hollister. All right. We'll go to Fraser Lake. Uh, you're on Fraser right now. All right. And it's 2-3 uh, over there that we'll be using. I, I think it's going to be really windy over there, judging by this. Yeah. But we can make an attempt of an auto over there. Okay. 
There's your whiz on that flag. They're coming to raid. Right. Our direction, it looks like. Yep. Oh. Just know that your uh, pinnacle could find the low recon is your. Uh, it's, oh, just, huh? it's like a safety valve. You're just coming <laughs> in, you're going, oh shoot, I screwed this up. I'm way too high. I turned base too soon. Whatever you did wrong, you say, okay, this is my low recon. It looks good or it doesn't look good. Yeah. Then you go around and do something else. Or you go around and come back. Yep. So right. let's listen to Hollister. Can't quite hear you. 101 to the west. Fraser Lake, right there. We get the hangars and uh, two, three be coming this way, or five going toward. Is that it right there? One fifty-two. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So kind of come out here, make right traffic for two, three. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Any for traffic? Almost is over there. That's them we're listening to now. You can tell them where you are. We're you know, 101 to the west, in southwest, inbound 23. Frazier. Right. Frazier Lake, helicopter 2900 cell, over 101 to the west uh, at 1300, inbound for patterns, Frazier Lake. All right, let's listen to Hollister. Gusting two zero. So they're so, saying two three zero at one four, so that's yeah. right down Broadway here. Yeah, but it's going to be. It says uh, gusting two two zero, so it's going to be kind of tough. Yeah. So we'll we'll go in there and try it. Might be too windy. Anytime you do any little movement with this much wind, it's a lot of reaction. So yeah. got to be real gentle in here. All right, buddy. Remember, this airport's kind of tricky because you get Hollister traffic that's not on frequency. Yep. I'll put Hollister over here. You can just say, Hollister, I'm over Fraser Lake at uh, 1,000, whatever, doing maneuvers over Fraser. You can go back and forth. Okay. Because they never talk to you. So with your thumb, you can tell Hollister traffic, Highway 25, uh, going to be operating Fraser, whatever. Okay. All right. Hollister traffic, helicopter 290 CRC hotel, over 25 inbound to Frederick Lake. We'll be doing maneuvers over Frederick Lake, Hollister traffic. Did it come out to yeah, they, they hardly ever talk with going through this quadrant to, yeah. to Frazier people. All right, so what's uh, a... We're what doing straight in. Um, let's do right in here 1300-ish. Right downwind, right base, final for 2-3, and we'll use the taxiway parallel. Okay. Let's put back on Frazier. I don't see anybody down there, so that's what's nice about here. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a straight in 2-3, all right? All right. And we'll use the taxiway, not the grass. All right. So go out here, base the final. When you uh, right above the windsock is the lettering Frazier Lake. Go, go for it. We'll try to hit that. But the windsock doesn't look quite like it's 2-3 right now. Yeah, what yeah, it is. There's a flag by that little cottage, and there's the, yeah, it's 2-3, so it'll be perfect. All right. But it's super windy, so let's uh, treat this as a go-around, in case you're not happy. Okay. Yeah, okay. In, in fact, every, every, go, every auto you do with the examiner, with anybody, is a go-around, unless you're really pleased with what's happening. Yeah. So he'll let you do even three of them, uh, three go-arounds, if you're screwing it up. So think of your very first auto is not an auto, it's a go-around. Oh, so, so, yeah, there's, there's time to play. So treat this right now as a go-around. Okay. Unless you're really pleased with uh, your numbers. Okay. All right, so I'll go kind of long here, just uh... Yeah, you want to sit here and wait with your numbers all hunky-dory, your aircraft cleaned up, lights are out, gauge is green, yep. car full. full. Car right here. All right. Maybe we'll go over these houses here, turn around and 
give ourselves a little little time to get set up. Make because sure of the can... wind, usually we enter here. Because of the wind, we're going to enter, you know, closer in. Yeah. Just because the wind's going to blow us away. All right. Right over here, we'll follow the road. This is 152 going to uh, Los Banas. All right, I think it was far enough out. All right. Now, when you're doing a, a, a maneuver for the examiner, have your airspeed at the same you want as your glide, so you don't have to hassle. So enter right around in the 70, 65, you know, area. Yep. So you just stay there. All right. So lights are out. Gauges are green. Got 70 knots. The and, fog uh, roaring in there. I'm aft a little bit. Here. Slow it down. Yep. Go. Right about here. Don't descend too much though. So keep your power in and just kind of walk up there. And we'll look, aim for the lettering on the middle of the taxiway. All right. Okay. Right now we're going to go on that shed. Yep. That's the wind pushing us down. So we're. It's going to surprise you. You're going <laughs> to. You're not going to make your spot because it's going to be here. <laughs> All right. Remember, it's a go around unless you're really pleased with everything. All right. But you're going to be like a robot when you enter. Just a, a real precise, crispy boom. A little attitude. You're sitting. Maybe right about a little, here. A little closer, and then look at the fog, and, and it's all you, all right? So, three, two, one, down right aft, roll the throttle off, and then we're checking the collective that, up. That's Oops. a high check. You yeah. might, the might get the horn good. with that much check. So, bring that down. A little bit aft. Oh. aft. Quick look go. outside, and you got it made. Now, stay here. Coming down to 500, you're still looking good, so Keep stay here. You're Put perfect. Down a little. All right. So we'll come a little bit long, but remember your okay. flare is going to be up. a little baby flare. Don't so forget right the throttle. About here. Throttle. Crack. Flare. Now where's your level? There come to a stop. Okay, that's going to pass your check rate any day of the week, dude. Boom, right on the now watch <laughs> your pedals because this is uh, windy. <laughs> Every day of the look at their descent rate. <laughs> Every day of the week, that's going to pass. All right. All you, right. You won't even have to do another one. Can you do a come up a little bit higher and, and show me a left pedal turn? See if you can stay right here. All right. It's not going to be easy, so make it happen. Bye. This is kind of fun, actually. You gotta <laughs> really lean into it and really get it around. Make it behave. Pull left pedal turn. Yeah, all the way around. Well, all right. see, if, see if you can do it. <laughs> now you gotta right. lean back. Now this is gonna be the hard area. It's gonna whip you. So control it. Control it. Look at that windsock, dude. All the way around. <laughs> really nice, and all the way around, all the way around, bam. All right, <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> okay, I don't think, I mean, you, you did fantastic. I don't think we're gonna do a 180, all right? I think all it's right. just too windy. Let's head back to Watsonville, so lights are out green. All right, lights are out, good. Car beats at 10, we got enough fuel. There you can go. come up, you can come up a little bit. Look at our airspeed right here. In a hover. <laughs> All right, this is a little less than one foot. You should be five, or at least a little more. Yeah, I was like, why is that airspeed up there? And I realized, yeah, we're into the wind. Well, that's, yeah, okay. Make your call, we'll straight out right. departure. Frisier Lake traffic, helicopter 2900 Sierra Hotel. On the go, 23, straight out departure. Frisier Lake traffic. We're doing like 20 knots in a hover. <laughs> <laughs> that was something. Huh. All right. Well, that so. was really good. I'm very pleased with that. That was fantastic. Yeah, I must admit, I'm pretty happy with that too. But. That was in this much wind <laughs> and your very first try right off the get-go over here in the uh, Frazier. 16 gusting 20. So if it's 10 knots on your day of your check ride, you're gonna you're gonna be all over it.
Alright, so I don't go long in that. Alright, so Carpe does a 10. Good, good. So we'll go back to the quarry area through the gap because we're going to have to duck under some of this stuff. Alright. Go back to Watson and we'll do a run on some hover autos. That'll be enough. We'll do the rest of this tomorrow, uh, maybe locally. All right, 22 now, inches, 70. Now we're gonna role play as we head back. So let's give a little bit of car beat. We're gonna role play a little bit and the al alternator light came on, okay? Uh -huh. Alternator light is, is on. All right. What so, would you do? So alternator light is on, so I wanna turn off unnecessary electronics. Do it. So I'll turn off. Friction the collective. Light. Fly your aircraft, turn yeah. everything off. All right, so turn nav lights are off, strobe light, turn off, and then we'll turn off our electronics. We'll keep our transponder on just for, uh, but we'll turn off our GPS, we'll turn off our radio. If you were in a controlled environment, you might have to leave your GPS or your transponder on. Yeah. But you don't have to Yeah. here, but anyway. Oh, here, so here. turn it off 1-1000 and turn it back on. And then I test to see if the light's still on. If it is, then I land uh, at, I want to say land immediately. Land as soon as practical. As soon as practical, okay. Let's get some. Then you slowly turn your other stuff back on, you know, yeah. as needed. All right. And unfriction your collective. You're going to have to do that for the examiner. The uh, real live role play, all right? All right. Good. And so if that alternator light comes on in practice, are you just like friction, bang, bang, turn everything off and try to restart it as quick as possible, or are you investigating for a second? I would do the the, the maneuver as per the, uh, the PTS yeah. or the POH, and uh, wanna, you want to get it off, you know, especially if you're at night, going cross country or something like that, I would uh, try to get the thing off. Okay. All right, let's see for the little, we're gonna go through the slot. This is not the slot. So we'll go, cause too turbulent over here. We'll come over there, this direction. Okay. And we'll go back to Watsonville. So why don't you get Watsonville, uh, why don't you friction and, and, and divert me to Watsonville? So you wanna go. A nav. Nav, you want a nearest airport, Watsonville. Don't forget to fly. Yeah, nearest. And, uh, Risky Victor, India. I think the little knob is your airport. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. So then, direct two. Yep, enter. Okay. A little light sometimes just bugs you as all cool. going. I think now, what about frequencies? That's next. Yeah. So, uh, how do I turn it over? Watsonville weather, the double arrow flips Watsonville weather over. Okay. Boom. And then, uh, what about 22.8? All right. So, 1228? Stand by, 122.8. There you go. All right, then you're all back to norm. Go cool. unfriction and get fly your aircraft. All right. How do we get the, uh, the map or... Uh... Oh, it's a big knob. Click toward you. One click. Beep. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna have to spend a little time with this radio yeah, here. Yeah, a little more. Yes. Okay, we got some poles, see them? Power line. Yep. So let's come, let's fly directly over this guy right here. Dave. So in these, uh, these scenarios where he'll, you know, uh, possibly ask about alternator outage, is he yep. gonna ask a theoretical question or is he gonna pull a breaker and kind of see if I'm paying attention? Yeah, he might, he might say, uh, what kind of cows are those down there? And you're going to go, well, I don't know, they're on the ground. I'm flying in a helicopter. <laughs> i got to watch out for traffic. And he may reach down and pull the clutch circuit breaker uh -huh. or the, or the uh, a gauges circuit breaker. And then you're going to go, he's going to count, see how long you yep. waited. And then uh, you're going to say, hey, wait a minute. So, boom. All right, so if oil pressure is out, then that's planned immediately. Yeah. So I'm looking for vibration and signs of engine failure, yaw. Uh, but either way, uh, want to put it down. I don't think he's going to pull that circuit breaker, though. I don't. He hasn't done that. But I haven't taken a check ride with him. Okay. Brian has. Anthony has taken a private, so you might talk to him, too. Oh. 
You know about that. Yep. You were just here and you had some. Maybe, uh, you know, too close here, better over here, maybe, huh? Yep. All right, the car beats good. All right. The wind blows over. <laughs> yep. So we're going to go back to Watsonville, and when we get over the hill, you'll hear the weather on Comp 2, and you'll listen to get a feel for the where you're going to land at. And I'm hoping we can do a straight in 27 and a run on. All right. A run on landing 27. A straight in auto or? Uh... No, it's it's a running landing. Okay. So we'll limit you to 20 inches, then you just come down and grease it on. All right. Because that runway is the old asphalt. It's it's hard. All right. So now we can kind of go into the wind. Yep. A little less bumpy. Pull the power back up. Stop that. Let's see if we can hear Watsonville. So why don't you flip up comp two and we'll uh, turn him up. Maybe. Might be still a little like low. Um, with this squelch, sometimes you can hit that. Sometimes it gives a higher frequency. Well, at least we got one auto in, because we can't do one in Watsonville, it's a low ceiling. Yeah. All right, so let's look for wires in here. Uh, you know, this, this little uh, valley here is going to be turbulent. So yeah. be ready, and uh, if, it, if it's too bumpy, just back it off the hammer a little bit. Yep. Turbulent, we're looking for 53 to 0.7 VNE with 72. All right, dragages are green. We didn't have a good altitude to do a settling with power. We can do some of that tomorrow also. Yeah. I haven't done settling in a long time. I think I'm pretty good at it, but uh, I want to practice. Yeah. That yeah. auto was great, man. That slope, the slope was even good. Oh. You're not supposed to be that good with slopes right now, but that was really good. Yeah, I could use more practice, but oh, yeah. uh, not bad. Felt decent on it. I guess that we hit that little mound, right, with uh, yeah, you just have to select a better spot. Um, thought I was cheating and picking the same spot, too. Well, remember that little area, because he likes to do uh, taxiway and, and gravel, and uh, it's a little more hard because uh, you slide around a little bit. Yeah. And the grass, you kind of stick. So you might say, yeah, um, can I show you the spot I've been practicing at? And he'll say, okay. And you just take him to the spot. We're at 62, ground speed. 80 airspeeds. So. Nice headwind. Ooh. Can't hear yet. Still a little low, I think. Yeah, it's come up a little. All right, my package is green. RB fuel is star. Still eight miles to the east. Roughly. So now we're starting to get a... the ceiling? Overcast, 1,400. 1,400. Well, boom. All right. So right now we're in class golf, because uh, we're in the hard edge of the of Watsonville. Yeah. Outside here somewhere. So up to 1,200. So we're in golf, which means clear clouds. Yep. And when we get in, in Watsonville area, we got to be 700 clear clouds. Above that, it's echo. Yeah. So if you get up to like 800 or 900 at Watsonville, and you're now you got to be 500 below that cloud, you can't do it. Yeah. So you don't want the examiner to fail you on something as simple as that because yeah. you violated class echo. So anyway, don't be that guy. <laughs>
He wants you to know airspace really well, backwards and forwards, so you'll tell him that. Yep. This Got is it. what we were expecting right in here. This little the plot gets a lot of wind. Plus, it's got cold air coming down from the fog yep. and wind, so you get a lot of this. All right. We're still we're still on um, Hollister, actually. So flip me over. Tell Watsonville who we are, where we are, and what yep. do we want? We want two seven. All right. So we're six miles. Turn up that vent. Unless you wanted it. That's okay. All right, so we are six miles, 700 feet down for uh, landing at 7 Good. Watsonville traffic, helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel. We're six miles to the east at uh, 700 feet inbound for landing at 27. Watsonville traffic. Now, you don't have to talk the guy to death uh, about Anything, you know, that's not necessary, just safety stuff, you know, like yeah. uh, on your watt field, just basic stuff. On your slope, you don't have to do the whole song and dance, just basic safety stuff. Because you're trying to sell yourself to him that I'm a safe, smart pilot. Yeah. But you yeah. don't want to talk him to death about minutia, you know, you want to <laughs> just stay on the course and do your lights are out green, carb heat, yada yada fuel. If he's trying to divert you or, or mess with you, just say, uh, stand by, you know, stand by. Maybe he is trying to screw, screw around with you. Yeah. All right. So I can see 27 right there. All right, go so, get it. Don't, yeah, don't do it shallow from here, you know, because you'll go through everybody's backyard. <laughs> get the runway made and then get down to a shallow run-on. So yep. it's, it's called a run-on. That means you have to run, not walk. Yep. So we you, want ETL, right, as we're landing. Yeah, and you bring in your power, but you know you can't hover, so you got to look at it and say there's 18, there's 19. Then you're outside, you know, at 19, one spec more is 20, so you just wait. I can't hover, and then you go forward. Don't sit aft. Yeah. You've got to grease forward. All right, show me what you got. All right. Four mile. Four and a half mile. All right. Start to get more set up about a mile final here. It should be a kind of an emergency thing because we can't hover. You got passengers and they don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> They're thinking, why did he do that? You know, well, you can't hover. You got a bad magneto, a bad whatever. Uh, so I better, better run on. Helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel on a three mile final for 27 Watsonville. And no one up here. I guess the conditions aren't great. No, it's not really VFR or around. It is here, but. It'll be pretty bad tomorrow morning when you get here at 9. Yeah. We'll do a little ground, figure out what we're doing. All right, let's watch out for the trees here, not too low. Big trees. Make sure no one's in the run up here. Somebody on the ground crossing uh, the runway, see him? Yep. Gonna use 2-0. So we'll let him, because we're gonna remain east of 2-0 at all times, right? Yep. Hotel Charlie on the approach runway one, uh, the localizer runway two, uh, Fosco. Right, so for two. He's taking off 2-0 and he's coming in on two, so you gotta, you'll, you're gonna have a free show in a second. <laughs> yeah, gee. But be, right. you'll tell everybody what you're up to, so yep. you don't have to get anybody scared. Fosco traffic helicopter 290 Sierra Hotel, final for 27, staying east of 2-0 at all times. Fosco. 
Uh, it's your approach speed you want to really monitor. And we want to run this thing on. All right. And we're going to stay east to two zero. So figure it out. All right. We're going kind of fast. Let's go aft a little. Slow it down to 60. On the approach, how far out are you? Talking to probably zero two. Yeah. Do the flag. Not much wind down here, so you're looking good. There's the sock, so it's yeah. real mellow for you. RV departing. Now you got poles and yada yada here, so just make a normal and then slide into your shallow once yeah. you got the runway made. As soon as you right. touch ground track cyclic, heading with pedals. That's low braking action. I'm eyeballing your power. I'm letting you have 20, so you would get down there and slowly bring it in. Now, slide into your shallow. Run me on. Looking long for reference. All right. Pull a little bit more power here. Make sure we keep ETL. Yeah. Get me thin and run. Look long. Now, I ball your power. Remember, we, uh, I let you have 20, so don't abuse it. Oh, slower, slowest. Good, 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 good. Lower braking action. Perfect. Dude, that was excellent. All right. I'm loving it. You could even got a little slower by just gently, you know, because that was a good long run. So but should I have been gentler on the collective there? A little slower descent, you know, lowering. But that was that's gonna pass your check right. All, All right. right. That's really good. I mean, that was that was like excellent, dude. All right. All right. Before you pick up, uh, lights are out, gauge screen. Pick me up, real gentle. All right. Got a guy coming in on two. No rush here, because the right. skids are kind of wonky after that. That's that was epic. That's gonna pass a commercial check ride right there. <laughs> all right, check your gauges before you do anything, and then we'll do a little quick stop short of two zero up here, all right? right so Into the wind. Light ride gauges are green. Good. So, so good. don't roll a throttle on your quick stop, but up here, then stop short of two zero because uh, landing aircraft, right? Yeah. All right. Watsonville traffic band up through hotel. The three, going two, uh, one. Two, so come aft a little bit since we're close to the ground. Good, good, good. Bring it up a level. A little jerky, you want a little more mellow. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, let's go up here. Alpha Charlie on the old asphalt in front of that parked aircraft way up here so we're not bothering him. And look at the windsock, all right? So kind of yeah. adios with a little mini quick stop right up there. Right storage windsock. Just a little mini one. You know, just control your aircraft. Look for other people walking or driving. Yep. Right up in this corner, a little quick stop right here. Three. Two, one, down right, hit the brakes. Boom, yeah. Channel. Bring it up and settle right. forward. Now right in this little area here on the good hard old asphalt, looking at the windsock, you're gonna do some hover autos, all right? All right. <laughs> so they're very difficult, so maybe two feet off the ground and reposition your hand. So Brian says do the Gorilla Grip, are you gonna roll it off for me? You're gonna do it, you're gonna do everything. All right. So come to a nice basic so right here stop. Or somewhere else? Right here's good. Okay. Now Great. look at something. Don't surprise me. Count it off when you're ready. Yeah, so pedal, pedal, pull. Roll right, pause, cushion. All right. All right. So three, two, one. Roll right, pause, cushion, forward, and neutral. Now that was no good. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think you have control. I got the control. You you did a little too much extra correct. You got you can't do anything. You just roll right pause. Yeah. Pushing. Okay. So look at the windsock with your right hand. Yeah. And then roll right pause. Don't do anything else. Just okay. roll right pause. Look into the windsock and cushion it. Let's try it again. All right. The roll. So the recovery to save us from that is I go forward because that's the only area that you can help this. Yeah. After lateral, no good. Forward is So better. I grabbed it and came forward to save it because we were going to rattle the cage a little bit. Okay. So bring me up to a hover, a nice low hover. Don't raise or lower the collective. You're just rolling it. Yeah. You're not doing anything here either. You're looking at the 
the windsock and you just go roll right, pause, cushion. As you're coming down, you're cushioning. All right. He'll let you do about three of these, really. <laughs> All right. So reposition the hand, hover. Don't be muscular. Just roll the thing off, right pedal, look at it, uh, commit to it. Yep. All right, your, your turn. So three, two, one. Roll right, pause, cushion. Nope. Pull down <laughs> neutral. <laughs> All right, you didn't cushion. You yeah. Just, you, you, and then once you touch, then you cushion. So we, that's why we hopped. Yeah. And you didn't get enough <laughs> right pedal in. So what, as soon as you roll right. Yeah. Let me, sh let me show you one. Yeah. You roll it up. I don't know what's going on. I'm not feeling it right now. All right, so let's roll it up. Yep. Chill. All let's right. Get a little air in here. Okay, pick me up, and I'm going to demonstrate one for you, all right? All right. So let me just shake it off here. Put it in the past. Go. You're supposed to make mistakes. I mean, that's why we're doing this, right? Yep. Up until now, everything's been too good, so let's uh, make <laughs> some mistakes. So gentle. All right. Because we kind of, the skids are, might be a little bit cockeyed here. I like slammed forward there a little bit, so right there. All right. There we go. We're digging up the ground here. So I need the pedals and I need the controls. Okay, so you But I want you to be gentle so you can kind of feel what I'm doing. So I'm looking at the windsock. All right. And I'm going to commit to it. Three, two, one, roll right, pause, and cushion. Pull down neutral. Uh, right. I don't know if showing you meant is any good or not, but... You've got to look at it and just roll it off and get that right pedal in because you had too much yaw. Yeah. I didn't even have enough. Roll right, and then as you're coming down, you're looking for the pause, and then you're cushioning it. Yep. You've got to create a pause. I'm going to create the pause. Roll right. Where is it? Cushion it. All right. All right let's try it again. We'll do one more and then we'll call it, all right? Okay. Because we're not going to beat the heck out of this. <laughs> yeah. Or the helicopter, for that matter. <laughs> All right, so... How's your skid? Is it still on? Uh, Make sure your skid's still... It's not hanging there. <laughs> Mine looks like it's still there. Yeah, this one looks good. Not too crazy. So pick me up. All right, take the controls. Let me give it a look here. Ah. A little air, too. Eh, not too crazy. I think we're fine. All right. I've done a lot different, harder yeah. than that. <laughs> so, you know, lights are out. Boom, boom. Pick Man, me I up had a few good ones with Brian too that brought my oops. Not that. <laughs> so let the governor do that. So just crack it to 80. All right. All right. Boom. Not doing anything dumb. Let's uh, back into it. All right. Cool. So. You just have to kind of commit to it. You don't have to be aggressive with it. Yeah. All right. All right. Two stage pickup, just like, you know, old time's sake. There we go. I don't grip anybody. Yep. All right. All right. Let's go into the wind here. All right. Reposition just gently with just like a robot. Roll right. Pause cushion. All right. So three, two, one. Roll, roll right. Pause cushion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull down neutral. There, there, there it is. Better. Let's end, let's end on a better note. Yeah. <laughs> Now, when you do the throttle, I don't think you got to 80, you continue to roll. Just let the governor, so yeah. look at it, then fix it. I think I was just a little careless on that one. I was already at 100, and I, I thought I wasn't, so yeah. I rolled up. and kind of went up, flirted a little bit with the stuff we don't like. Yeah. All right. All right, pick me up. I think that's good enough. I want to. I want you to look at your skid marks when you get up in the hover pit. You can tear it around. <laughs> so pick me up and turn around. I want to check them, see All what right. we got. Take a picture, put our initials. Oh, wait, I think that's good enough for initials. All right. All right. Take a peek at the, uh, what your skid marks look like. <laughs> Take it out and lay on the ground around them. Well, they're not bad. Just a little bit of a uh, happy-go-lucky. Not bad. Yeah. 
All right, let's let's uh, that's all uh, over an hour. So let's uh, let's call it and uh, bada boom and bada bing. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm glad we got these in. Well, we had to go to Fraser to get our auto in. <laughs> well, just you get more comfortable. Um, so this is like a half a foot. So give me a give me a good hover height. There we go. The more you do, the happier you get. Yeah. Uh, slopes. I remember I was so paranoid with slopes and uh, <laughs> dynamic rollover thing because I saw too many videos. <laughs> um, but eventually you got them and they're over it, you know? Yeah. I'm glad, uh, you know, I mean, of course you want to get these every time, but, uh, you know, we had a great flight, right? So oh, I think uh, I don't want that false confidence, right? Where just because I got it a few times, I'm thinking I'm, you know, best at it. So. You know you can't do it, so when it when it comes time to do it, you might be nervous, but you know you have done it. So yeah, yeah, let's definitely do a few more tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're gonna do we're, them. we're gonna do them all the way till you're ready to rock. <laughs> yeah, I had some great ones with Brian, and I was like, oh, I know how to do. And then oh yeah, I'm all over. <laughs> <laughs> we did these here, and it's like yeah. clunk clunk clunk. <laughs> all right, let's bring it home. Yeah, you you pick a spot, so we'll put it in the, put it to bed. And I'm hungry. Now the grass has been cut, so it might just stay asphalt. Same spot there? If you like, yeah, or it doesn't matter. Same spot. You can edit those hover autos if you're going <laughs> to post it on YouTube. <laughs> you can say, well, let's just keep that one. Keep that one off the. <laughs> to critique, because you know everybody loves to critique. You yeah. know, we could say uh, I love uh, uh, mud pie ice cream, and then there'll be some guy that says, you know, you're an idiot. So, <laughs> so you don't need to post everything. <laughs> There's always some. Sometimes the the comments are better than the actual thing. Yeah. Because it's a crack up. All right. Okay, we got. Uh, tufts of grass, so figure it out. Yeah, they'll just come wide here and then shoot right. Mm -hmm. I like to do the hover autos when we're lighter weight because of that fact. You know, you hit hard with a full fuel. Yeah. Or we bounced once. That, uh, that was when we came down, touched, and you raised then. That's why we went back up again. So. Yeah. Just, the more you do, the more comfy you'll get, so don't yeah. worry about it. All right. All right, up toward you, we'll go hit the time up. And we, we will center, friction, friction. Five, cyclic, friction, click. Right, Wait turn off minutes. everybody, landing light, uh, barb heat, boom. Then you whip it out. All right. I think it'll cool better with 65 or 75, I mean, so bring it go. up a hair. Turn the carpet off. All right, so yep, yep. turn our lamp off. Right. Well, we're still spinning, so you might as well let people know that something's going on. All right. So we did quick stops and the air taxi's great. All right, so those are doing, those are looking really good. That slope, even though we just did a simple one, it was very good. So I liked it. All right. The steep approach and the max, you saw how difficult the max was. So we got the wind to help us. The steep, I don't want you to fall into a normal. I want you to keep it at a steep all the way in, which yeah. we did. Settling with power, we didn't do, so we'll do that tomorrow. Pinnacle confine, I thought was good. We had to do a go around or a low recon to come in because we were too steep, you know. Yeah. Low RPM recovery was great. Governor off is good. Emergency in the air were good. We'll work on that. That was good. Run on was excellent. Work on that. Do some more of those. About a boom. All right. So. Almost at two minutes, so be ready to roll. Roll click. and click. Right, to roll. The Dave, you're
your check right, it could be real IFR, you know, you're not going to go, but you're still go you'll still sit in the classroom and still do the whole ground portion. Uh, flight planning, everything. And then and you'll come out and decide, go or no go. Yeah. So, sometimes it's nice if, if it is no good, but you've already passed your oral, that's done. Next time around, just fly. Yeah. All right, 30 seconds. We'll pull, make sure. Uh, the 310, we can apply a brake. plenty of time to get him down, so. Oh, yeah. And then in the meantime, at home, you're reading about, you know, uh, aeromedical factors, and you're reading about the PTS, about what kind of engine this is, and what's friggin' D-rated, and uh, all that fun stuff. Yeah. In fact, you can even start doing a, a pencil flight plan of that trip. Yep. And maybe even make up right. a wind and weather sort of accurate to what it's what it was today or tomorrow, whatever it is. Yeah. You can, you can fine-tune it, make it real clean and easy to read and explain. Yeah, I think that's my goal this weekend is to start coming up with the folder that I'll present, you know, with all the documents, for the balance, you know, yeah. Yeah. I have some weather. cool pictures I want to print for you that you can use, too, if, you, if he asks you a question about um, 